Hello my lovely friends, this is Elayu again and today we're going to discuss the present tenses. We have simple present, present continuous or progressive and finally the present perfect. The simple present tense is a verb tense with two main uses. We use the simple present tense when an action is happening right now or when it happens regularly like facts and routine. So if I say Dina and Om love jokes, here I have a compound subject. Dina and Aum. You can always refer to our subject video. However, here Dina and Aum love jokes. My simple verb doesn't have an S. But if I say Dina loves artwork, it's a singular subject, so my verb should take an S. And that happens all the time when I'm using my simple present tense. Make it simple, always remember this rule. Singular noun, verb with an S. Plural noun, verb with no S. And now we're going to talk about the present continuous tense, which we also call it the present progressive. And it's very simple. It's formed with the subject plus our verb to be plus our present participle, which is the main verb plus ing. Many examples can be drilled for this interesting verb tense. So I'm going to start with a negative sentence just to make it a little bit more challenging. And I'm going to say, I am not playing Fortnite. Here I is my subject. Am is the form of verb to be I am using. Not is to show negative. And playing is my present participle, which consists of the main verb play plus ing to show the continuous tense. So, I am not playing Fortnite. Last but not least is the present perfect tense. Present perfect tense refers to an action or state that either occurred at an indefinite time in the past or began in the past and continued to the present time. The construction of this verb tense is very straightforward. The first element is verb to have in one of its forms. It's either verb have or has, depending on the subject. If it's a plural subject, we use have, and if it's a singular subject, we use has. An example would be if I say, she has put away all the laundry. So, here my singular pronoun is she. The verb to have form is has and put away all the laundry. But if I'm going to use it for a plural subject, I would say, Maho and Chiku have put away all the laundry this morning. An important tip would be is that you've got to be very careful that when you're using the pronoun I, which is a singular pronoun, I still have to use the verb form have and not has. Thank you for joining us today. Hope to see you very soon. If you like our video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, follow us on Instagram and like our Facebook page. Thank you.